What did you honestly think of Jar Jar Binks? It was so controversial. Um, Lisa called Jar Jar Binks. Lisa, your humble servant. Ah, Mori Mori. Before Davy Jones and before Gollum, there was Jar Jar. He was the first entirely CGI character in a live action film. We have brought you new images as part of E.T.'s full force coverage, and we're not going to let you down now. One of those new characters is sure to become an audience favorite, the computer animated alien Jar Jar Binks. The hype was strong with this one, and it almost killed the Star Wars prequels. Lisa Jar Jar Binks. You're a Gungan, aren't you? Uh-huh. How'd you end up here with us? My no no. Miss a day starting pity okey day with the brisky morning munching, then boom! Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace is expected to break every record, and today we can personally tell you it will. After years of anticipation, The Phantom Menace blasted into theaters in May 1999. I've been waiting 15 years since Return of the Jedi came out to see the prequel. There's no way it's going to be a disappointment. This is very, very bad. Oh, it, it, go. it was the break of a lifetime for actor Ahmed Best when he landed the role of Jar Jar Binks. I was doing a show called Stomp in New York, and I got lucky. The casting director for Star Wars was in the audience of one of the shows, and she asked me to audition, and I got it. In the script, he's described as an odd frog-like creature. We must survive on our own. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Jar Jar is a key to all this. If we get Jar Jar working, because he's a funnier character than we've ever had in any of the movies before. Well, don't do that again. The character was created using then state-of-the-art motion capture technology. Originally, Jar Jar had short ears, and George thought, well, oh, how about if he had long, floppy ears? You know, uh, they might be really funny if when he turns his head, the ears flop around. And so we did that, and actually, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, wow, that works. Uh, and then George, of course, wanted him to be very expressive. And so we thought, okay, well, what's expressive? You know, what can we do with the eyes to make them very comedic? And we thought, okay, well, they should be on stock so they can pop out. They could do all these things. Gave him a big mouth so he could do wild, crazy expressions. The performance itself was carefully guided by director George Lucas. And plot down. Yeah, look around. Uh, okay, now look at the camera and you see something. Oh my gosh. Okay. But. I love you! You almost got us killed. Are you brainless? I speak! The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. No, no, Mr. Stay! Mr. called Jar Jar Binks. Mr. your humble servant. That won't be necessary. Oh, but it is. It is demanded by the gods, it is. Best had done his best to fulfill Lucas's vision, but unfortunately it all backfired. We shall die in here. Just relax, we're not in trouble yet. Things looked promising leading up to the film's release. Qui-Gon and young Obi-Wan Kenobi quickly find a sidekick in the movie's most interesting new character, an alien named Jar Jar Binks. This character, whose movements are based on a performance by the actor Ahmad Best, is completely computer-generated, showing how smoothly reality can interact with special effects in the film. He fits right in. He looks very realistic, and uh, or as realistic as Yoda does anyway. And... Uh, you know, it's, and his performance is really good. This movie is a remarkable achievement, a marriage of imagination and special effects, and my thumb is up with a lot of admiration. But the initial high wouldn't last. It was amazing. It was everything I thought it was going to be and more. As soon as the hype died down, the backlash began. I didn't like it at all. Really? Yeah, I didn't like it at all. I thought there was no story, there was no plot. I didn't care about any of the characters. It was terrible. In order for it to match the hype that it got, Jesus would have to walk out of the screen. Thumbs way down. You didn't like no, it? No, I, I think I deserve a public apology from George Lucas. 
Many Star Wars fans found Jar Jar annoying and resented the slapstick humor that was clearly aimed at little kids. You know, I find that Jar Jar creature to be a little odd. Jar Jar had received the most media attention leading up to the movie's release, so he became the main target for hate. Kids like Jar Jar. Why? What about the Ewoks? Hey, they were rubbish. You don't complain about them. Yeah, but Jar Jar Binks makes the Ewoks look like fucking Shaft. <laughs> How rude. Yeah, by the way, that, that puppet, the main puppet, yeah. he was just great. Jar Jar Binks? No, I mean, I can see yeah. why you don't like that. First of all, Jar Jar Binks the name once and just made me <laughs> jump through a roof. This is an impression of the, the uh, lead character, because he is the lead in the movie. <laughs> and you're like, what? It's kind of like Chinese Yes, pigeon. I know. Yeah, and it's like, what the hell? He's embarrassing. Some critics went as far as calling the character a racist stereotype. You are thinking, you said people gonna die? I don't know. You some people gonna die? George Lucas denied the accusation, saying it was merely a controversy created by the media to sell newspapers and get more clicks. There is a group of, of um, fans from the films that don't like comic sidekicks. They want the films to be tough and like Terminator and they want to be, you know, real guy movies. And they get very, very upset and very opinionated about anything that has anything to do with being childlike, which the movies are for children, but they don't want to admit that. And, or a comic sidekick, because they don't want comedy in these movies. In the first film, they absolutely hated uh, R2 and 3PO. Now Jar Jar is getting accused of the same thing. You're quite right. He's very odd indeed. Kids seemed to be Jar Jar's only vocal supporters at the time, but still not entirely enthusiastic either. That long-eared alien dude, I mean, he always messed up, but he ended up helping his army and stuff. I thought it was pretty good. A popular unauthorized version of the movie known as the Phantom Edit circulated amongst fans after the original's home video release. Jar Jar's screen presence was severely trimmed down. Oh, no! And Jar Jar's role in the rest of the official prequels was shrunk down as well. In fact, it's Blink and You'll Miss It in Revenge of the Sith. Well, that smells stinkin' There was just so much hate and venom and anger directed at me. And I took it personally. And they blow you up. Ooh, high word. Jake Lloyd, who played Anakin Skywalker, got hit with it too. What's that name say? Jake Lloyd. What if go to hell? I'm a person and my name is Anakin. I'm sorry. I don't fully understand. This is a strange place to me. Somehow everybody channeled their anger into the two unknown actors in the cast. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Sure, the movie didn't live up to the expectations set forth by the original trilogy, but the fact is, it's still just a movie. What did you honestly think of Jar Jar Binks? It was so controversial. Um, Ahmed Best, who played Jar Jar, is one of my very good friends, and he is so talented and yeah. so wonderful, and I was very angry that they said bad things about him. Yes. Liam Neeson has also said that he and the other co-stars were personally offended by the Jar Jar backlash. I don't presume to. But you do. Revealed your opinion is. In a recent interview with People Magazine, Ahmed Best opened up about the experience and the darkness that followed. Quote, My career began and ended. I didn't know what to do. And unfortunately, there was really no one that could help me because it was such a unique position. It had never happened before in history, especially with the internet component. Everyone came at me. End quote. 
He went on to say that he's now in a good place. In 2023, Best even returned to the Star Wars universe as a Jedi on The Mandalorian. Everything's gonna be all right, kid. As for Jar Jar Binks, the backlash seems to be dying down. Perception of Jar Jar has changed quite a bit mm, over the last yes. 20 years. Yeah. I mean, uh, Jar Jar fans, you're here, yes? You know, George, years ago, told me that this is how it was going to be. You know, when he said, he was like, the kids that grow up with Jar Jar, they're not even going to think about all the criticism that happened back then. And, you know, it, it was very prescient the way he, he said it, because that's what's happening now. A few years ago at a Star Wars celebration event, George Lucas called him his favorite character, saying Ahmed did a fantastic job. And well, he's never been one to care what anybody thinks anyway. Part of making movies is you get attacked, and sometimes in very personal ways. Did you not say ever to yourself, well, maybe they had a point with this or with that? It's like uh, if you paint your house white and somebody comes along, well, that should be a greenhouse. Well. Fine, but I wanted to paint it white. I don't think there's anything wrong with painting it white. I don't think there's anything wrong with me for painting it white. Maybe it should be a greenhouse. But I didn't want it to be a greenhouse. I wanted it to be a white house. He's like the black sheep of the Star Wars universe, and he's mostly gone misunderstood. Part Three Stooges, part Goofy, and part Jackie Chan. I love Jackie Chan. I watched Drunken Master and Drunken Master 2 thousands of times. So, of course, a lot of my physicality comes from me watching Jackie Chan movies. Drunken style Shaolin Kung Fu is a big deal. I did a lot of it as Jar Jar. Jump, Jar Jar! Jump! And I actually think, if you take the dialogue out, some of the slapstick vignettes are kind of fun. In the same vein as a Chuck Jones cartoon. Ah, mori mori. And people still talk about him all the time. There, there is something out there in the zeitgeist of the Star Wars universe. They want to keep him around. All the hits I've taken over the years for Jar Jar, people still care. I, 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 it blows me away. Have you heard the Darth Jar Jar theory? Where he's not just a silly goof, but actually an evil Sith Lord? <laughs> The theory stems from Jar Jar's one big scene in Attack of the Clones. Misa proposed that the Senate give immediately emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. Chancellor Palpatine goes on to become the evil ruler of the Galactic Empire. Thus, Jar Jar is responsible for his rise to power. It is with great reluctance that I have agreed to this calling. What I think it comes down to is, fans are filling in the blanks for a character who the franchise abandoned. Your support is well seen. On a final note, Star Wars Episode One was re-released for the film's 25th anniversary, and it was a surprise box office success. The Phantom Menace may not be a new hope, but compared to the dismal sequel trilogy, it's starting to look a lot better. Thank you. Thank you.